Hey, what's up guys? Otto here. So what I want to do now is work on the back end and we want to create a private route just so you know how it works. And right now we have routes that are open, which means they're not protected. You don't need a token to access them. And so, for example, let's say in business, we add private information that only if the user is logged in, he can see that information. And that would be information we want to protect. So in order to do that, we need to use that token and utilize the token. So first things first, let's create a new route. What I'm going to do is just copy this right here, paste it here, add our, uh, that, this, and we'll call this private route. And we'll put private route here. And so in this private route, what we're gonna do is check if that person has a token or not. So how do we do that? So the token is gonna be sent via the header. And so we need to collect the header. We need to read the header. So requ request.header. And inside that header, it's gonna be a token, pretty much JSON. And let's put this in a variable. So let token equals request header token. And we're gonna check if there's a token. So we need some logic. If not token, then we're gonna send a JSON back, response.json. And the message will be, sorry, this is a private route and then save. So we need to decode the token now. We check the token if it's there, if it's not, sorry, you can't access this route. And by the way, we need to return this so it doesn't keep continuing down the line. And now we need to decode the token. So I went to that old JW, JWT website and if we go to that repo, it's gonna give us some more examples. So I'm gonna go ahead and search decode, decoded and scroll down a bit. And here we go, here's a good example. It's very simple. Var decoded, verify the token, remember that password we created, and then console log that decoded message. And so paste that in there. Our password's up here, by the way, see? When we signed it, we signed it with this password. Password is password. And paste that in. And for the decoded part, at dot foo, what we used was ID. So we need to get the ID, put that in there. And what we're gonna get back are, is like an, like an ID like this or something like that, right? So save that. And now we're done for this part. Now we need to test it. And normally we'd use this, which is our REST API tester, but for some reason this doesn't work anymore. And uh, it has something to do with the plugin. Um, I hope this guy updates it. I love using it, but right now it doesn't work. So we're gonna have to go over to Postman. And if you don't know what Postman is, this is like the big heavy like tester that's used by teams and it works good. I just think it's pretty heavy. So anyway, if you don't have that, download it and let's go ahead and uh, enter the local host and the port number and make sure you see the hello world so we know it's working. And then our route is called private and it works as it should as it gives us the message, sorry, this private route this is a private route, so you can't be here. You can't use this. And now we know that works, so let's do some more editing. And basically, we want to give the testing um, route a token. And in order to get that token, we need to create one by signing up for an account. So we need to hit the sign up API with an email and password. All right, so 
let's hit up the sign up API sign up and we need to change this to from git to post and for our information we're going to put it make a body and we're going to do raw data and make sure this is selected as JSON and inside here we're going to need a few things we need a string email and remember this also needs to be a string password and this also needs to be a string as well okay and now we can hit it send and now we have our token right here all right so now we're going to create a new route uh, test so we're going to copy that paste it in here change this to private go ahead and run that as a git send and it says sorry this is a private route that's a good thing right we know that people can't use it unless they have the token and so to use the token we go to header and in the header we type token make sure you don't leave a string here and an empty space or anything and in the value copy this paste it into the value hit send and if you look in the terminal console you'll see that you have an ID so let's go ahead and return something now so when we hit this private route let's go ahead and return something for you to know that you successfully hit the route so response dot json and in that response we'll have a message like you are in the private route save and restart the server and go back to postman and now if you hit send you are in the private route right so if you disable the token and hit send sorry this this is a private route so when you need to display information that's private then use this method right, the server is done for the private part private route now we want to implement it for the flutter side and so we need to fetch this data with flutter so to do that let's go to our main and at the bottom of the code let's go ahead and actually open up a browser we're going to get a template so flutter cookbook hey it's right there there you go and networking right here let's go ahead and fetch data from the internet and we already have this imported the HTTP package is done okay so display the data and here at the bottom we don't need these imports we, really ha we have them already go ahead and grab this code all the way down and copy paste that in we're going to delete the code we don't need right here and as for this error saying the name my app is already defined so we need a new name all right so I'm gonna go ahead and change the name to private okay those have been changed careful not to change these names all the way back down all right now we need to change this URL to the URL that we are calling so it's not HTTPS it's HTTP dot slash slash localhost and this is only for iOS I think Android you have to use a different um, it's like 1.220 I've forgotten the top of my head but um, and then private save and okay and over here for the model of data that's coming in well we don't it's not gonna be have any user ID all we have is message that's the only thing that we're returning so delete all this delete all this message message okay and um, on display it's going to return message 
Okay, fetch data example. Yeah, whatever, leave that as it is. And, oh, one more thing. We need to add the header to this. There needs to be a header. So, so to get an example header, what that looks like is if we go back to uh, the networking and go to make authenticated requests, we have a header right here that we can use. And it shows us how it's implemented like this. So you got the header, just, so you have that comma on the URL and then the header implemented just like that. So grab that. Now we need to paste that in with a comma. Save. And it automatically imported a library. And if you didn't, make sure you click this and then import. So basic API token here. So how do we get that token? Well, remember, it's in our shared preferences. So let's go ahead and grab our shared preferences right here. Boom. Paste it right here. And then to get that, um, that token, it should be get string. And let's see, here we go. Get string right here. Grab that all the way back down. Where are we? Here we go. Paste that in. Then the token goes right up in here. All right, now let's test. Before we test, actually, we have to implement this route. So the private route, uh, let's go ahead and add our ID. So static const, uh, what is it? String ID equals and equals private. Then we go over to um, top in the main, add that, let's copy this, and then add private, copy that, paste that, okay, save, restart, go to our app, and now we also need to add it here in this route. When we click business, we want to go to this private route, right? So we have to go to where we added this in the bottom route. So bottom route, the bottom navigation, which is here. And so it's number two here. We got number one, number two, number three, and number two here. It says landing screen. Well, we want that to say private. Okay, save that, and now when we go to our app, click this. Sorry, this is a private route. And which means that it's working, but it, the token is not going through. So let's find out why that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and uh, update some things. So the problem lies here. The server is expecting us to have a token header and we're having this authorization header. So an easy fix would just be a token. And I'm sure it's gonna work now. So go there, you are in the private route, which means we are in the route. Now that's a crappy message and we can change to like uh, something like, Yay, you did it. You did it. Your end. The token was successful. Okay, save. Restart the server. And you notice we have no bottom navigation. We need to add that too to the private. So this has a material app and I'm gonna head and exchange, I'm gonna exchange that with a scaffold. So scaffold, we need the scaffold to add the bottom navigation bar. And we're getting some, some errors. We don't need a title theme, all that. And here the home, we gotta change that to a body. Okay, and then finally go down to scaffold where it ends right there. Okay, and then type in bottom navigation bar and our bottom nav. Okay, save and our app, go to business and now we have a navigation bar and you did it where your token was successful. So we're in the private route.
That's awesome, right? Guys, that's a wrap. We got our register, our login, we have our landing page, our private route, and our logout. So, hey, if you got something out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button.